Good morning and welcome back. On behalf of the leadership team at Bernie High School, we would like to say how excited we are to welcome you to the start of another amazing school year. Today, we've gathered together for a little bit of training on a newly designed and developed Bernie High School vision and mission statement. For the first time ever, Bernie High School will have its own unique vision and mission statements that will support the Bernie ISD vision and mission. So we're excited to have you all back we're excited for another successful year and to share all of the hard work and dedication of the team in building this vision. Let's get started. During today's training, we are going to roll out vision and mission statements and do a little reminder, the difference and the similarities and the supporting reasons for having a vision and mission statement. We're going to talk about how our vision development team has spent months developing this vision and mission statement. We're going to roll all of that out for you so you can understand all of the hard work and dedication that's gone into this. We're going to talk about why at this time Bernie High School has decided to tackle a vision and we're going to end with talking about your role in the Bernie High School vision. Our goal at the end of today's training is that each and every one of you, all members of our Bernie High School team, should be able to explain the Bernie High School mission and the importance of the vision and mission as guiding principles for our school. So let's get started. You've heard vision and mission statements a lot before, and certainly our school district has its very own vision and mission statement. But for many of you who haven't worked on a development team, it might be important for us to remind you the, the similarities, I guess, and differences between vision and mission statements. Our vision statement is our big picture for Bernie High School. This is our destination. It's the future reality that we hope to achieve. It's inspirational. It's our end goal. And it can be a very large goal that we're seeking to achieve. Now, once we have the vision in place, it was the job of the development team to go back and talk about the mission. The mission statement is actually our roadmap. It's the guiding principles that will lead us from where we are today to that future reality and that big dream that we hope for, our vision. These are the practical commitments we need to make along the way. There are core principles that guide us. There are right now actions. So if I'm telling you that our vision and mission statements are really important, they're our big picture idea and our guiding actions to achieve that idea, then it's really important that you understand how we rolled out the Bernie High School mission and vision development team. This wasn't something that we threw down on paper very haphazardly. In fact, several months ago at the end of last school year, Bernie High School convened a vision development team. These were volunteers or people that we asked to participate staff members, teachers, administrators, students, parents, and community members all were involved. So they sought to find what made Bernie High School unique and to incorporate that into our vision to support the greater vision of Bernie ISD. The team was asked to create our unique vision. So first, they looked at the Bernie ISD vision statement, our overall guiding vision for our school district. Then team members were each asked to individually list 30 keywords or phrases. We called those keystone phrases or keystone terms that they felt exemplified a school with a strong, successful culture. And their first homework assignment was to take those words and share them with as many people as they could. Friends, family, community members, fellow students and teachers and parents. And we asked the people that they shared them with to stamp their seal of approval for the top 10 phrases that they felt represented us here at Bernie High School. So again, we're tailoring this to be unique to what Bernie High School does and to what we hope Bernie High School will achieve. Team members then brought back their top 10 phrases that had been voted on again and again by people in their circle, and the whole group created a comprehensive list. We took a look at all of the words that were listed and to kind of narrow down the task, we grouped those words into themes. And then we took those themes, charted them on chart paper, and put all of the supporting words for every theme on the chart paper. So everybody had a good idea as to the themes that we had compiled that both represented a school with a strong, great culture, but also represented what people feel Bernie High School does well. Each team member was given three sticky notes, and they went around the room voting on the three most important themes that they wanted to incorporate into the Bernie High School vision statement. We tallied the results, and the top five themes were used as the foundation for the vision statement work. The team used those five pillars to write the vision statement. 
They went through several drafts and iterations. We debated terms and argued about verbiage, and the mission statement was finally, or the vision statement, I'm sorry, was finally completed. Once the vision statement was written, the team came back together to create a mission statement with core principles that would support the Bernie High School vision. Now, I'm certainly going to tell you the importance of a vision statement. It's a guiding principle for our school, but it's better if I illustrate the importance of a vision statement. So we're gonna do a little activity. We've paired you into groups of about somewhere between five and 10 people. Circle up wherever your group happens to be. So form a circle. You're all gonna look at each other. And the very first person in each group is being handed a ball of yarn. So you're going to get started. You're the first person to go. So you're going to make a statement that's true for you. It can be something like, I'm excited to be back at work, or I'm a first-year teacher. I went to the beach this summer. I love dogs, whatever it happens to be. Everybody in the group is going to listen to you. And if they agree with your statement, they're going to say, just like me. And you're going to hold your end of the yarn and pass the other end to them. So you're now connected by a piece of yarn. And they've got the ball of yarn in their hands. And then they're going to start. They're going to make a statement that's true about them. It can be as creative or simple as you want it to be. If somebody else in the group agrees, they're going to shout, just like me. That person's going to hold the yarn and pass it to them. So you will really make a web of yarn. You're going to be connected with lots of different people in your group. So for each connection you make, you're going to hold all of the pieces of yarn you've got and you're going to pass the yarn to somebody else. So we're going to take just a couple of minutes to walk through this activity. We'll walk around. Don't let go of your web. It's really important that you keep that web together till the end of the activity. So let's hear your statements and uh, stay positive. You know, I want to be back at work. That's always an exciting thing to stay. And let's see how this activity goes. Fantastic job, guys. You are really creative, and I liked the uh, dedication you put into the circle web activity. So still in your groups, holding that web, the web you've just created represents the connections between all of the members of your group. These are social-emotional connections. They're relationships that we're building that create our campus culture. This creates the optimal learning environment for all of our students and makes us happy to come to work and successful as educators. We're going to bring around a ball to each of your circles. We're going to place the ball on your web. Your job is to support the ball with the web without letting it drop. The team that can support their ball the longest wins. Now, if you need to make a few corrections real quick, if you need to ask a few more questions or pass the yarn a little bit more or pull your web really tight and cinch in together, Remember, if there's any holes in that web, you're not going to be able to hold the ball and certainly you're not going to win. So take the next minute, get your groups in order. We're going to come around and pass out the balls. We'll say ready, set, go, and we're going to see who lasts the longest. Wow, look at the webs you created. Great job, and I loved your enthusiasm. But this was not just fun. Hopefully it was representative for all of you. The ball that you held on your web was our kids each and every one of them. And that web you created was the perfect environment for them to be successful learners and for us to be successful educators. If we want Bernie High School to achieve excellence and continue down the path of what we do well, we need to provide a supportive web or an environment for learning. And we can only do that through a strong culture. It's the job of our vision and mission statements to lay the foundation for a strong school culture. So it's really important work that this team did. It's important that we discuss it today and that you all understand not only how we came up with this vision and mission statement, but what they say and what they mean for each and every one of us as members of the Bernie High School community. At this point, hopefully we all agree that a Bernie High School vision and mission statements are really important. But why now? Well, Bernie ISD has had a vision and mission statement, and as our job as part of the school district is to support that vision and mission. But we've given several stakeholder surveys over the last year, and we've come back with some feedback that feels like we are lacking in the culture department. And we've heard a lot of feedback from people, all levels of stakeholder, whether students, teachers, parents, and there are some gaps and some areas where we really need to improve our school culture at Bernie High School. So we figured vision statements are the foundation. They're the goal for where our school wants to go. And if none of us know where we're headed, how could we possibly create a school culture that's going to lead to excellence? 
So we decided now is the perfect time. The feedback from our stakeholders indicated we needed to improve. And our vision and mission statements are going to set the tone for our school. This is the foundation for our strong, positive, effective school culture that we need and that we know Bernie High School can achieve. It's important for us to have a common vision of perfection, and that's exactly what our vision statement gives us. So what is the Bernie High School vision? The Bernie High School vision statement. Our school will maximize the potential of all students through engaging and inspiring real-world learning with the goal of developing critical thinking, problem solving, and social emotional skills. All of those highlighted words are really important. We want all of our students to feel welcomed and to know they have the opportunity to be successful and we're here to guide them on the way. Each and every one of us has a job of providing our students with engaging and inspiring real world learning, relevant, authentic education for our students. And obviously when we talk about critical thinking, problem solving, and social emotional skills, these are the skills that every single one of our students needs not just to be successful in high school, but beyond, career and college ready. So our Bernie High School vision that will guide us and set the foundation for our culture is that we are going to maximize the pot potential of all of our students, remembering that we're providing them with engaging and inspiring real world learning. We're developing critical thinking, problem solving, and social emotional skills. So now that you know the vision, it's important to look at the mission statement and our core principles that we will use to achieve the Bernie High School vision. The Bernie High School mission. Bernie High School will serve as a model of excellence by working collaboratively with stakeholders to educate future citizens through a viable, authentic, and technology-rich curriculum, focusing on critical thinking, problem solving, and social emotional skills. Bernie High School will accomplish this mission through the following core principles. The first is collaboration, allowing our students to collaborate, expecting collaboration from our teachers, between our teachers and administrators, between our school and our families. Second is that our curriculum will be viable and authentic, rigorous and relevant for what our students need now and in the future. That we will be a technology-driven campus using technology to communicate with families and to provide more authentic learning for our students. And finally, that we will focus on social emotional skills. And this coincides with the Bernie ISD rollout this year of whole child learning. Our students, when they are going to career and college, need the soft skills as they're often called, but they're not so soft. These are the social emotional skills that they need to be problem solvers, to resolve conflict in their lives, to know how to be optimistic thinkers and to overcome obstacles as they succeed throughout life. Our vision isn't something we just say. It has to be something we do. It has to be palpable when you walk on our campus. You have to be able to see and feel our vision come alive. Our school needs a strong culture that's going to support this vision. Each of you, as a member of the Bernie High School community, plays a vital part in our success. Whether you're students, teachers, staff, parents, community members, each and every person in the Bernie High School community leaves their fingerprint on our school. If we're all working collaborati collaboratively towards the same vision, that big dream for our campus, we can achieve greatness. If, if each of our decisions and actions supports the success of our school, they'll multiply, they'll add up, and these actions will ripple through our community and have an enormous positive impact. We ask each of you to be part of this community and to help us work tirelessly to help BHS achieve the vision of maximizing the potential of all of our students. We ask you that you came here as individuals. There was a math teacher or an English teacher, maybe you're a counselor or a leader. We all came in here with our own individual perspectives and ideas, but we ask that as you come together to support this vision and to be the best educators you can be, the best counselors, the best BHS community members you can be to support our students, that you simply leave here as Greyhounds. Certainly, we wouldn't be educators without giving you a formative assessment, a little bit of practice with it that you could take back to your classrooms. So you all have a piece of paper on your table. I'm going to ask you to take the next two minutes 
to answer this 321 assessment. So it's a 321 list if you've used these before. We're going to start by asking you to list three things that you're most excited about with respect to the Bernie High School vision and mission statements. These don't have to be specific words in those statements, but why are you excited that we're rolling these out? What are you excited to see or do or how do you think this might positively impact our school? Two, we want you to write down any two questions you still have or need more information about. And finally, one concern you have about implementing the BHS vision and mission statements. So again, take two minutes to do this and we'll have an opportunity to share. I'd love to hear what you have to say and we're going to share in our uh, with some partners using a concentric circles activity. So when you came in earlier today to training, some of you were given odd numbers and some of you were given even numbers. If you were an odd number, you're going to form a circle here in the middle of the room facing out. You're going to be the inside circle facing out. If you had an even number, you are going to be the outside circle facing in. So you'll have two people across from each other facing one another. So if you will take a moment, odds are the inside circle facing out. Evens are the outside circle facing in. Take a moment to get in your groups. All right, now that you have a partner right across from you, um, every time we go through what you're going to share, the outside circle is always going to answer second, and the inside circle is always going to answer first. So the very first thing we're going to do is both of you are going to share one of the three things that you're most excited about with respect to the Bernie High School vision and mission. So again, inside circle shares first, outside circle shares second. Y'all have got about 30 seconds to discuss. Excellent answers. All right, we're going to take the outside circle. So everybody in the outside circle, you're going to move to the right three spaces. So just bump over one, two, three, find your new partner. And then we're going to share again. You're going to share this time another one of the three things that you're most excited about with respect to the BHS vision and mission statements. Go. All righty. Now the inside circle is going to move. The inside circle is going to go left two places to get to a new partner. Once you've gotten there, you're going to share your final of the three things that you listed on your 321 that you're most excited about with respect to the BHS vision and mission statements. Go! Excellent. I hear a lot of great ideas and enthusiasm, and hopefully this is giving you a chance to talk with more people than you normally would, and I certainly like the ideas that are being generated. All right, we're going to move again. This time the outside circle is going to go right one, and when you get your new partner, you're now going to share the two questions you still have or need information about. And so if you have a question or you need information when you're sharing, if your partner has an answer to that, Please feel free to provide some feedback and answers. If not, just share your questions. And go. All right, time to move again. But this time, the inside circle is going to go left one space. And in your final share, you're going to take a moment to share honestly about one concern you have about implementing the vision and mission statement at Bernie High School. And you can feel free if you've got an answer or you're not worried about that to talk with each other about these concerns, but each of you needs to share any one concern that you might have. Go. Thank you guys for your honesty and, and hearing your feedback is important. We've jotted down some notes so we can provide you with some additional uh, resources and information as we roll out the Bernie High School vision. So one more move. The outside circle is going to go right one, and we said our goal at the beginning of the training was that each and every one of you can talk about what the Bernie High School vision is. So we've taken all of that down, and I'm going to ask you in your next 30 seconds of sharing, each of you gets about 30 seconds to share, if you could explain what the vision means to you in your own words. We said our goal today was that at the end of the presentation, each of you members of our team, would be able to explain the Bernie High School vision and mission and the importance of these statements as guiding principles for our school. And it sounded like you guys could do just that. If you have any questions for the group, we will answer those. Or if you have individual questions, please stick around. Uh, if you have no questions at this time, you are adjourned to go work in your rooms.
Thank you guys for your support. Oh, and we have posters that will be coming around delivered to you this week for hanging in your classroom that remind all of our students and teachers about the Bernie High School vision. Thanks.